What's going on this month in Nerf? Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana, and I guess it's more like this month in Nerf because we are double late. Michelle was down for a few weeks with COVID, and then because everything happens at once, we had to intake a huge worker order and completely reorganize the shop. Big things are coming, but before you run off to foamblastshop.com, I have got to tell you the news. Dart Zone has new balls. You heard that right, we're seeing Dart Zone Rival Rounds replaced with a new design on shelves. They've got a weird, almost brain-like texture to them and appear rubberier than the standard rounds. Uh, info on these is a little bit scarce, so if you know anything about these rounds and how they perform, please share your knowledge in our Discord server. Link in the description. The Nerf Dino Squad Raptor Slash is now on shelves and online. Uh, Discord user AB Quintic was able to pick up a copy, confirming it is essentially a disruptor, slam fire, and all. Plus, the blue spikes on top are rubber, but I hope it should go without saying, this blaster is not safe for melee. After what feels like a long, long time in an episode far, far away, the Mango Mandalorian Phase Pulse Blaster is finally available on Amazon. The blaster costs $52.99 and includes 10 darts. None of that fancy limited edition packaging or lights and sounds on this one, but it seems like a good option for the cosplayers who are interested in doing their own paint jobs, or modders who just want to rip out the internals and replace the guts. But for collectors, I still think the limited edition wins out, despite all the shipping delays. Airsoft manufacturer Umarex has another blaster in their wrecked line. The Jury, a CO2-powered double-action slash single-action revolver. This mechanism is somewhat new to the Nerf world. To fire the blaster, one can either cock the hammer manually and then pull the trigger for a single action pull, or pull the double action trigger itself, which automatically cocks the hammer like, like a real revolver works. Uh, the jury is powered by a standard 12 gram CO2 cartridge and holds six short darts in its cylinder. Those can be topped up on the fly or swapped out entirely. The blaster comes with two of these cylinders and enough darts to load both of them. Performance-wise, the jury's marketing materials put it at 130 FPS, which is in line with the other blasters in the series, but potential buyers should definitely watch some reviews first. American Foam has a great review up. Uh, the blaster dropped performance very quickly as the CO2 canister loses pressure. The first six shots averaged around 121 FPS, which is pretty close to the marketing materials. The second round of shots got 118 FPS, and then it dipped down to 97 FPS on the third batch of six dots. These CO2 blasters lose performance pretty quickly, and the canisters cannot be refilled, so keep your play style in mind if you're considering this blaster. The jury costs $54.99, with a two-pack of cylinders also available for $8.99. Now let's get into some leaks. Reddit user SharkChew discovered three listings for new Nerf products on autosimon.pl. The first is the Ultra Nightfall for 56.99 euros. While we don't have images or a description for that just yet, the name alone is interesting, as it doesn't conform to any of the other blasters or subseries in the Ultra line, and that price point implies something of a flagship blaster. We will just have to wait and see though. Shark Chu also found the Nerf Dino Squad Ankylosaurus, or Armor Strike, depending on which leak you look at. Uh, you know the drill, nothing to go on here but the name itself, and I've <laughs> really got no guesses. It seems too expensive to be a melee, uh, and both names imply something really big and tanky. Uh, maybe something like a Mega Mastodon? I would love to see something Mega in the Dino Strike line. In any case, it has a tentative price of 42.99 euros. I'm really looking forward to what this is. Foam Blast Discord user Crying found another leak on Auto Simon. This one for the Elite 2.0 Ranger. The Ranger appears to be unusually a five dart smart AR blaster. It's got a stock attachment point on the back, a pump action mechanism, and enough onboard storage to hold five extra darts, of which the Ranger includes ten. Auto Simon has the price at $22.99, but the release date is, as of yet, unknown. 
AB Quintic discovered photos of the Elite 2.0 Tetrad QS4, which appears to be a four-shot smart AR blaster, similar to the quad shot or a fang, but with a fixed stock. Notably, the blaster only comes with enough darts to load it once, and hopefully this doesn't mean we're seeing the end of the Double Your Darts Elite 2.0 gimmick. Overall, the look is very cool, and I know people love to have pump grips and stocks on pistols. Both the price and the release date for the Tetrad are unknown at this time. We have some sad news for international viewers. Captain Slug will no longer be shipping to the EU. Citing difficulty with customs and a lack of reliable carriers, he's made the decision to halt orders until further notice. However, slug blasters and hardware kits will still be available in Europe from Viking Foam Arms or via a freight forwarder. Our Nerf user Dan the Poo has released the first version of their 3D printed pump action Springer, the Sten, for free on Thingiverse. This blaster is unique in that its magwell is also its pump grip. To prime, just pull it back and push it forward, and that will chamber a dart into a short length of brass barrel. Otherwise, it uses a standard rainbow catch and can take uh, 6.75 inches of K26 or K25. In accuracy news, Springer Wizard JSPB has come up with a novel new way to spin stabilize your darts, barbecue. <laughs> in all seriousness, the grilled dart maker comes in four sizes, short dart, elite, mega, and mega XL, and allows rifling grooves to be burned directly into the dart with a blowtorch. These grooves, in theory, allow air to flow evenly behind the dart and cause it to spin as it comes out of the barrel, completely eliminating the need for a scar barrel. Methods aside, the results don't lie. JSPB shared some pretty impressive footage on his Facebook page showing how the darts work in pretty much any air blaster. Is it worth it to spend hours painstakingly cooking your darts medium well? We can't say, but it does kind of look cool. <laughs> uh, files for the dart grill are available on JSPB's Etsy page for $16.99 and includes all four sizes. Devil Z Nerf's Concept Pistol is one of the slickest mag and grip micro flywheelers on the market right now. But what if it were brushless? Designer Gonkingnat has done exactly that, making their own variant of the Concept with an extended lower tray for all the extra electronics. This new version also comes with an optional magnetic holster and a fancy sensor-based rev system, which automatically revs the flywheels as soon as you put your finger on the trigger which is so freaking cool. <laughs> STL files are available on a pay-what-you-want basis on the DVZ web store, with steps available for just five euro. Drop cylinders, penny mods, paracord shoulder loops, modders have been upgrading and improving the humble Maverick since it first hit the shelves. But designer Gemini's Mayfly conversion might be the biggest overhaul we've seen yet. The Mayfly is a complete rework of the Maverick, swapping out the cylinder for a canted Talon Magwell, pusher, battery tray, and fly with a world cage, turning the simple revolver into a half-dart powerhouse. That's not all though, Gemini also designed an N-Strike compatible barrel lug and a slide replacement with a stock attachment point, allowing the Mayfly to serve as a slick little carbine. Files are available for free on Gemini's Prusa Printers page, along with mirrored files for left-handed users and step files for those who wish to make their own modifications to the kit. A huge win for open source and such a cool project. And now it's time for the mod of the week. And this week it comes to us from FUN user Matthew Runyon. And it's a doozy, a completely 3D printed Almost full scale Destiny Gajallerhorn. Gajallerhorn. Gajagajaga. The Destiny rocket launcher. The massive rocket launcher weighs in at almost eight and a half pounds and measures 44 inches long with performance matching that. It's basically a massive shell for a drain blaster. The blaster's muzzle has a spigot for Mega XL and demolisher rockets, but can also fire clouds of darts from absolver cylinders. Uh, inspired by Captain Xavier's modular Dream Blaster mod. I think that most sane people would shy away from a project of this magnitude, but it came out looking amazing. And I mean, of, of course it did. Destiny weapons look awesome. 
a, a prop of this size is pretty impressive, but to make it functional as well is a huge accomplishment. Thanks so much for sharing. And that is all the news I have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, the links to everything that I talked about are down in the description, along with the like button, the subscribe button, the comment section, and you know, all the YouTube things. Also in the description is a link to this, the shirt that I'm wearing, uh, designed by the lovable Taffy. So if you want to support him and give him a couple bucks, it's, it's pretty cool. It totally doesn't remind me of my favorite Nerf web shop at all. What, what, what do you think it is? <laughs> uh, speaking of foamblastshop.com, we just did a huge uh, restock and we got some new products in, like a bunch of the recolors of the Swift. We got all, all our tack gear back in. Uh, and some more stuff is coming soon that I'm super excited about and hopefully we'll have more things to talk about shortly. That's enough shilling for me. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you all in two weeks if everything goes well. I certainly hope it will. Goodbye!